This is five ways to become a speed learner at music production. So if you're relatively new with this whole production thing, or you feel like your production skill is plateauing, here's five things that you can do to hyperspeed your way through the learning curve and get to making the music that you want to make. The first way is to use ChatGPT. ChatGPT is like a 24-7 music tutor, and never before in history did we have something so readily available like that. In music production, especially if you're new at this, some of the smallest problems can hold you up for hours and hours. But the good news is ChatGPT actually knows a lot about music theory and music production and really can help you through some of the time consuming issues that you might have. So watch, I'm gonna test it out. My chords are boring. What can I do to make more unique and better chords? chord inversions, extensions, borrowed chords, pedal tones. Even if you don't know what those things are, you can ask this thing, what is a pedal tone in relation to chords? The sustained pedal tone acts as a drone or anchor while the chords above it create movement and harmonic interest. What's cool about this stuff is that a lot of this is, is right. Like pedal tones are one of my favorite things to add the chords to make them awesome. Like anytime I have a set of chords, I'm always gonna add a pedal tone to help tie them all together, which is just one single note that never changes. I just think it's one of the prettiest harmonies. Number two on this list to becoming a speed learner at music production is to start with the fundamentals. And the way you do that is to first understand the skills that are needed to produce a song, which are chord writing, melody writing, drum writing, arrangement, recording, sound design, mixing, and mastering, and for some of you, vocal work. Next, you need to figure out what you want to accomplish with music production and then pick the fundamental skills that are most closely related to what you want to accomplish. For example, if you want to make and release music, you will excel the fastest if you stick to the skills that are closely related to songwriting like chord writing, melody writing, drum writing, and arrangement. Also, if you play any instruments, recording. Just focus on getting really good at those things. Don't touch any mixing plugins like EQs and compressors and stereo imagers, and don't try to make your own sounds yet. Just make hundreds and hundreds of chords, melodies, little beats, and simple arrangements. And when you're feeling confident in those skills, or in other words, you're able to actually arrange a whole song, you can then branch out into more advanced skills like sound design, mixing, and mastering because these skills will only benefit you if you know how to write a decent song. Method number three for becoming a speed learner is to focus on quantity over quality. Try not to get too hung up on any specific piece of music that you're making, especially if you're a beginner. Because no matter how much time you put into that track because you're a beginner, that time will likely not pay you back in quality. When you're good at making music, spend the time making your good tracks good. But when you're just starting out, you need to make a lot of music because you are going to get better with every single song that you make. Now, there will be times when you do get held up with a specific song and you want to figure out what you gotta do to make it better. But you have to know when it's an appropriate time to move on from the song and just start something new. A rule or a guideline that I give my more beginner students is that you should give yourself two to three days to make and complete a song. And then listen to that song and pick one thing in that song that you wanna do better in the next song. And before you start that next song, study a little bit and figure out how you're going to improve that element in that song. And then repeat the cycle. Give yourself two to three days to do it again. As a beginner, you're going to get sucked into certain songs that you make and you're gonna to wanna to spend days and weeks making that song perfectly release ready. But trust me, spending too much time on a single song will not help you build skills quickly. The fastest you will ever build skill in songwriting and music production is if you make a hundred songs really quickly and improve one thing in each song. The next method on this list is really important, especially if you have a full-time job and don't have an abundance of time to practice music production. And that is to open the DAW 
daily. So I have a lot of students with full-time jobs and this one always works. Don't wait until you're off days to open the doll and make music all day. This is a great way to feel like you're starting over every time you open the doll. Going too many days without opening the doll in between the days that you are opening the doll is way too inefficient and you're just gonna feel brand new every time you open the doll again. Instead, open the doll daily, even if it's just for 10 to 20 minutes on your busier days and a couple of hours on your not so busy days. This type of consistency will keep music production fresh in your head and it'll actually start benefiting you. And this will help you start generating ideas more quickly and it will force you to learn how to be creative even when you have a lot of other things going on. The final thing on this list is deadlining. In music production, the number one thing that holds producers back is perfectionism. And the only thing that eliminates perfectionism is deadlines. Deadlines are a critical skill in music production, and it's a skill you have to build early on in your music production journey. Otherwise, your built-in self-critic will run your life and you'll never get anything done. So next time you start a song, set a deadline for when that song actually has to be done. And here's the catch. Set the deadline for half the amount of time that you think you need to make the song. I give this exercise to my students and they love it because guess what? They actually finish songs. When you set deadlines, you work faster and more efficiently and you're forced to solve problems instead of just second guess every little issue for an eternity. The truth about any art, in music especially, is that it's never finished. But there is a point when art is presentable. As an artist, you have to accept that done is better than perfect. And if you develop this mindset as a beginner, you no doubt will be one of the few artists who can regularly put stuff out and see success from your music very quickly. Well, that's a video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my premium courses and sound packs below if you would like to learn more from me. And stay tuned for the next video.